guys, my name is Gunnar James Girl and welcome to episode 10 of Mean Girls Spring Break. Let's get straight into it. If you haven't seen previous episodes, I will link the playlist down below so you can catch up with where you are up to. Here's Gretchen. Your balcony is so gorgeous, my love. Alas, it's hard to appreciate beauty with a heart as heavy as mine. But you just told me a minute ago that gazing up on my face it's like an exploding supernova of pure radiance. Yes, but with a heavy heart. <laughs> He's a bad guy, right? Well, never fear, darling. I managed to free up some strudel money. My golden dove? Does that mean you'll be able to properly appreciate how pretty I am? Yes! And... Oh, and I can totally help you pay the ransom for your parents. You've made me the happiest man in the world, my perfect petunia. I like her outfit. Oh, she fainted. <laughs> oh, she's up again. This calls for a celebration. Why did she faint? Let's head down to the Greek Council's gala. We can dance the night away. I wonder if we're going to win. I wonder if the Stacys are going to like find out some information. I hope not. There's bound to be more drama though before the, uh, before the season ends. Only another hour to go. I'm terrified, green eyed. I really think the Stacys are on to us. I'm not scared. I'm freaking out. To be honest, I'm freaking out. This is not good, Damien. The Stacys are mega suspicious. This was such a dumb idea. Take a deep breath. We're almost at the finish line. <laughs> hey, Regina. Some party, huh? Oh, I think we could improve it. Maybe with a dance? You read my mind. This is all Janice's fault. If she hadn't called us the boring couple, we wouldn't be in this mess. And it's spring break's fault. The whole concept. Maybe some people don't want to get all wild. And it's your fault. Oh no. Oh, that's okay. What are we doing? In high school, Regina kept us apart. And the last two years, it's been distant. You in college, me in high school, and then you in Africa and me going to Prague. And now that we have a chance to just be, we're still letting outside factors get in the way. We were so busy trying to prove we weren't boring that maybe we didn't realise it's okay to be a little boring. Aww. I love Katie and Aaron. They're such a sweet little couple. I love you. I love you too. I love that we're a little boring. It means we're comfortable together. Want to go to that awards gala thing? I think Damien and Regina number two, aka Greenoid, might win after all. Might be fun. You know what? How about one last adventure? Really? We just said <laughs> a fun one this time. Just for you and me. No proving anything to anyone else. In that case, I'm all in. <laughs> Got a favourite dance move? Ooh, how about a little... The Whip. Old school, I like it. <laughs> and I've got more where that came from. Ooh, green-eyed. Check out those moves. You are the finest arm ornament I could ever hope for, darling. Don't we look fetch together? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's still no cell reception, so I can't ask my followers. Can we have everyone's attention, please? Oh, here it is. This is the moment. This is it, Damien. We're ready to announce our winner of this year's Greek Campus of the Year. 
and of course the hundred thousand dollar scholarship but first we'd like to give special thanks to this year's second place runner up the university of beverly hills oh that means this year's winner is the University of Evanston. Look at the Stacey's crying in the corner. We won. They're not happy at all. Regina and Damien, please join us up here. This is such an honor. On behalf of Damien and the U of E and myself, I want to express our deepest gratitude to the Greek Council and say, Self-service just came back to the island. Uh-oh. Say what? Karen Uncensored is about to return. Get ready, St. Jezebel. Next time you see me, I'll be teeny tiny on your phone screen. Uh-oh. Uh, well, anyway, thank you for the award. Now the self-service is back, that means they've got the internet. They can find out all about uh, the fact that we're not Regina, we're Greenoid. Can you believe it? We pulled it off. Blue skies from here on out. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Can I have a word? You know, I think I see Justin waving at me. So, you're in a frat? Why did you lie to me? Is it that big a deal? I wanted you to like me. I did. A lot. And now I feel majorly deceived. Uh oh. Honesty is the best policy. Looks like congratulations are in order. I'm pretty thrilled. Let's keep that thrill going. Ooh. Greenoid? Oh, no, Mika's here. How? Uh-oh. Mika, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing kissing some other guy? Is there a problem, Regina? Did he just call you Regina? And why are you wearing that ridiculous wig? Um, it's her name, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nobody asked you, dude. You dumped me over tech. He did dump us over text. How dare he come over and be annoyed at what we're doing? Uh, allow me to excuse myself. You really think I would dump you over text? Uh, yes, because you did. No, I most certainly did not. Self service must have died here before the second message sent. Second message? Bzz, bzz. Here comes the message. I just got a text from you. I can't do this anymore. I need a break. I'm taking myself I'm taking a semester off to travel and find myself. That was the second message. I'm taking a break from U of E Greenoid, not taking a break from us. Why didn't you just tell me before I left? I tried to. That's why I was crying. My parents are really against the idea and they're putting a ton of pressure on me. Oh, Mika, I'm so sorry. And then I got your letter. And as if my life couldn't get any worse, my girlfriend thought I dumped her over text. I had to get to St. Jezebel and make sure I didn't lose the one good thing in my life. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed you. Um, I missed you. I missed you, Mika. I missed you too, Greenoid. Mm -mm. Excuse me, everybody, but we've got a little titbit you might find interesting. Now that Karen Uncensored is back, we've cleared up a little mystery. Please turn your attention to last week's episode of Karen Uncensored. Uh-oh. Oh, God, the hour of judgment is upon us. What's up, hotties? I'm Regina George. Karen's asked me to fill you in on what's hot and what's not for spring break. Funny how 
that Regina George looks nothing like our Regina George. Mm -mm. Oh no. <laughs> Please don't. That girl down there who's been dazzling the crowd all week. She's not Regina George at all. She's an imposter. Uh oh. And that is the end of episode 10. So we won. We won the Greek Games, but we have now been found out. So who knows what is going to happen next, whether we get the title and the money taken away from us. We will have to wait and see for next episode. Thank you so much for watching episode 10. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe. If you are new to the channel, hit that bell to get notifications of when I upload a new video. And I will see you soon. Bye.